Okay, uh, here we have a simple key gen me. Uh, it's by Sash X41. If we type something in, it'll say enter your password, and it'll say wrong password. Don't give up, you'll solve it. Alright, the first method I'm going to show you is the patching method. Uh, let's open it up in Ollie. Um, we can scroll down and we'll see things like the title, we'll see enter your name, uh, name must be longer, password. I'm going to analyze the code here so everything goes back to original. See a bunch of stuff going on here, and then we see right password, wrong password. Uh, right off the bat, what most people usually do is right click. Search for, can't see it. Here we go. Right click, search for. Still can't see it. Video size. Search for all reference text strings. I know you can't see it, but tough. Um, <laughs> then, uh, as you can see here, you see all the text strings. This is okay. Um, it's not always reliable. There might not be a text string. Uh, this might be very, very long, um, but it'll work for now. Back over here. Uh, oh, and if you do find them in there, you can just double click it and it will open it up. So, uh, here we are on our right password. And if we see, look down a little bit, we see wrong password. Uh, these little carrot things right here, these are jump landing positions. So, if you click on one, you get this nice little arrow of all the jumps that lead to it. Uh, so, in a program, everything is ran linear from top to bottom. Uh, so this run, this run, this run, this run. If this is true, it skips this stuff and it runs this. Uh, so we want to never take this jump. So we can right click it and edit, fill with NOPs. NOP stands for no operation. In other words, don't do anything, just keep going on down the line here. And as well for this jump, which goes to the bad message. We want to also fill it with NOPs. Another way to do that is double click it and just type NOP. Um, as you can see, uh, it got rid of the loop because it's like, hey, wait a minute, something changed. Right click, go to analysis, analyze code, and there it's back. So now this loop's going to go, 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 go. It's never going to try and jump or anything because we took, took out the jump. So eventually it's going to land here, here. It's going to say right password. Then it's going to jump over the wrong password. So let's run it, and we'll see real quick. It's your name, password, right password. Cool, you did it. All right. Now uh, the second method that I'm going to show you is the, uh, I guess you could say, key genning method, um, where we're actually going to find what our key is or should be. Um, so if we come back down to uh, enter your password, come down, we'll see wrong password, right password, I'm do an analyze here, okay, wrong password, right password. Um, now, this here is comparing something and it's then jumping. Well, let's break point it and see what it's comparing. Let's go ahead and open this up, put in our name, type something else in. Alright, now if we look here, it's moving what's at the address that is at ESP plus 10 plus EAX. ESP, which is our current stack pointer here, this is the stack. If we double click right here, we'll see uh, how far away things are. So we're looking for plus EAX, plus 0, plus 10. Plus 10 is right here. This is Knilknarf. So if we read it backwards, it's our name, backwards. It's moving the first byte of that into CL. If we step, it's comparing CL with EAX plus ESP plus 210. So if we double click, scroll down to 210, we'll see that that's our key that we just typed in. So it's going to compare the first byte of my key to the first byte of our name backwards, and if it doesn't match, it's going to jump to the bad message. But we got lucky and it didn't match. So it goes through, it increments here, EAX1, uh, compares EAX to EDI. EDI is the length of our key
jumps and uh, then it moves the second bit of our serial to CL and it compares that with the second bit of the serial that we typed in. Now they don't match and it's going to jump to the bad message. Well, why is it our name backwards? How did we figure that out? Well, mainly we figured out because we can read, and this is very simple, but we want to know how it got that way. So if we move up here a little ways um, into this loop, let's see what it does. Oops. Let's restart the program, run, type in name, and land here, and it's moving the byte that is at edx into bl. Well, let's uh, take the address that's in edx and follow in the dump, and we'll see d. I'll scroll up. It's our name that we typed in. And it is then moving the ecx plus esp plus 10 into al. Well, if we go to esp plus 10, plus ECX, which is zero, we get this position, Franklin, it's all our stuff. So now, if we step, we'll see that it's going to move BL. <coughs> okay, so now we'll see that it's going to move BL into the byte that is at ECX ESP plus 10, which is here. So it's going to move that D where that F was. Now it's going to move that F into where that D was. Okay. Flipping it. And then it's going to increment ECX, D increment EDX, and then compare the ECX with the SI, the length. Um, then it's going to jump back up, and if we keep watching, it's going to continue to change those down here and over here. It's the same address going to keep flipping those until our name is backwards. And that is how you uh, would go about seeing the uh, process in action. Uh, this is a very simple example. There will be more advanced tutorials later on. And in the next uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this program um, into a keygen for itself. Um, but if you wanted to write a keygen for it, which would actually be easier than turning this program into a keygen for itself, all you would have to do is write a program that takes in an input and then outputs it backwards. Um, let's go ahead and run our program by itself and test our theory. Let's do Franklin JLJ, JLJ Nilknarf, write password. So yeah. Um, that is uh, a couple different ways at looking in CrackMe's. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and look forward to seeing more in the future.